What's good, y'all? It's your boy Tiberius here, man. Back with another video for y'all. Little walk, walking vlog, man. Um, today I'm gonna just be talking about, uh, like I said, it's a continuation of sacrificing in order to grow and uh, moving on to the elements of going into monk mode. Right now I'm walking to walking to my nature spot where I meditated, getting back in the nature video. Uh, just going back to the source, and that's it, man. We're gonna we're gonna talk about it. Let's let's get into it. What's up, y'all? Back with what I was saying about monk mode. I'm in my space of nature, of meditation, and it's a beautiful scenery. Most of us don't try to take ourselves out of technology and our comfort spaces and just try to enjoy some sort of peace and space like this. Um, before I get into basically what I meant by monk mode is I first want to just start by saying thank you to all my new subscribers. Everybody that subscribes, I'm just very thankful for. Remember to like the video, comment, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends and family. The whole purpose for this channel is to show people my path. The Tiberius way is literally in itself, you know what I'm saying? By me showing people who I want to become and um, documenting my journey. Today is December 27th, 2020. It's around like 4 p.m. I'm in Austin, Texas. I moved from Long Island, New York to pursue my passions. I had to sacrifice everything in my past, uh, my past in order to get to this point. And I'm still chipping at it, you know, chipping at the wood in order to eliminate. Because before you can build something, you have to start eliminating things that add no value to you. Things, things, places, people, like I was saying before in my other video. Today, um... Let's just get into the definition of what monk mode means. Monk, monk mode, well, obviously we all know what monk means is an individual that is isolated, that is highly concentrated on one individual goal that separates itself from outside distractions in order to focus on that goal, if you understand what I'm saying. So that is the whole purpose. Um, and you know what I'm saying? Uh, this this is just a year. 2020 is, is 2007. It's, it's two. It's 2020, December 27th. Now, this time last year, I was sleeping in the shelter, as I said in my last video. And I'm just very thankful for where I'm at right now because it was an emotional moment for me where I was at peace at the lowest point of my my my, uh, my existence. But in the same 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 space, I was at peace because I was like, you know what? I'm letting go anything that affects me because I just want happiness in my life. And when I was able to do that, blessings started coming to me. Uh, my, my dreams and what I was trying to attract started coming to me. The money came to me. The, You know what I'm saying? What I needed. The little things that helped me get to this this little space. And this is just the beginning, but it was a beautiful enough space for in order for me to do what I needed to do and document what I needed to document and um, separate myself so that I become the man that I need to become and be the person that I need to be. Today is, like I said, today is a very powerful day because, like I said, we need to focus on what we need to do. Let's focus on what we need to do. Monk mode, I'm going a year. I'm going into a year of straight focus. Um, it's straight celibacy, semen retention, um, outside distractions, cutting off social media, and focusing on my goals so I can obtain what I need to obtain. Because I, I feel like a man always has to build his world. You know what I'm saying? His build his empire, build his kingdom. Right now, I'm just a man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a king yet, nor am I a god. And my ultimate mission is to become a god. And for you people, uh, ask yourselves, what position are you in and what are you trying to build for yourself? And where do you see yourself at? And what is in your life that is affecting you and stopping you in order from getting to that point? Things that you don't want to admit subconsciously that, that you're doing that is not adding any value to your life. How can you change that? How can you change the narrative? How can you put yourself in a better position in order to make that happen? And what are you willing to sacrifice in order to get to the next level? 
I'm willing to say, like I said, I have a son. I have to take care of, obviously, my baby. That's my heart, soul, and joy. And I realized a lot of missing elements as a man that was that wasn't given to me from not having a father, which I'm not angry about or, or, or resentful for, but these things I need to add to my myself and 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 become these things so I can give it to him, and that to me is more important than becoming rich, becoming successful, um, anything because I feel that you know materialistic things come and go. You know it doesn't really matter, but. The values and the, the mark you leave on people in this world is an everlasting energy. And energy cannot be destroyed, it only can be transferred or transformed. So I do want to be able to transfer that energy and that, that sort of essence into my child so that he doesn't suffer the same fate. And to be able to put myself at a financial freedom level where I can show him the world and give him a different perspective on life other than living in poverty. That is the whole point. And you have to ask yourself exactly and have that definiteness of purpose in order to manifest what you're trying to manifest. What are you trying to manifest? Where are you trying to go? How important is it to you? And what are you willing to sacrifice in order to get to that next level? What are you? Out here, I'm out here in nature. I deleted social media off my phone. You know what I'm saying? I'm not talking to women. I'm not dealing with, with, with people. I'm, I'm, I'm not in toxic situations. You know what I'm saying? How can you eliminate that? Because coming out of that space is one of the hardest things that we could do, especially living in a black community. We live in poverty, and poverty breeds toxicity. Toxicity is, you know what I'm saying, inevitable in that sort of environment. So how do we eliminate or remove ourselves from that situation in order to get there? Where I was living at was nothing but toxicity. You know what I'm saying? It, it was a repetitive cycle of hatred and pain and, and, and poverty. And I want to put myself in a position, in an energy space that I wasn't used to. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it was really based off instincts. I needed somewhere to move, and I, I just put the pieces together. My brother helped me. Um, shout out to Mo, 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 Mo Rebel, aka Apex Gemini, a, uh, Apex Initiative Strength. He helped me. Um, you know what I'm saying? He said, "Yo, listen, this is what you could do, but you have to be ready to put yourself in that position." You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing that you. I can give you the so secret sauce, but you got to put it on the sandwich. You know what I'm saying? And I put it on a sandwich. Monk mode, it's, monk, it's time to go a year. Take time away from people. Take time away from things that are distracting you from what you need to do so you become the greatest version of yourself. Some people are going to judge you. Some people are not going to understand you. Fuck them. You know what I'm saying? Fuck them. Fuck it up. Be the greatest version of yourself. Is there a specific way you want to look? Is there a specific place you want to be? Is there a specific car that you want to drive? You think that you're going to be able to obtain that sort of energy and you're, you're vibrating at a lower frequency? It's impossible. I'm out here enjoying nature. It's time for me to meditate, read my book. Let's heal, man. I need some healing time as well. That's why I bought the book, The Completion Process, so I can heal my soul. I've been damaged by things, but I don't want to carry hatred. You feel me? So my thing is, let me heal my soul and become and strengthen my heart space. So that I can become the greatest version of myself. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Please watch the video to the end. Based on the fact that YouTube algorithm only works that way. The only way this channel going to grow is if you watch the video to the end. Like it and comment to the video. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. And I'll see y'all in the next one.